Hey there, fellas. In today's episode, you're not going to believe this, but today is Oilers Day. We've got a healthy surplus of motor oil. We use this stuff in a bunch of our cars. You know what? Come to think of it, we have poured so many different things into motors. Coca-Cola, nitrogen, anything you can imagine, except for oil. Anyway, here's what I'm looking to do today. We'd really like to finish off the engine in this thing. See what I mean? It has to happen. Anyway, we'll overfill the engine with motor oil. Well, at least we'll try filling it all the way. Just to see what happens. I actually remember when we last filled an engine with cola, the starter motor wasn't able to turn it over. However, then the engine wasn't running. So today we're gonna start by firing this one up, and only then are we going to pour in the oil. At that point we observe and see what happens. Let's do this. So at first we wanted... We decided to have some fun and remove the breather tube, in order to stick a few hoses in there with a funnel, and pour in that motor oil. But I take it that's not gonna work. I mean, this engine is pretty old. I'm pretty sure we'll get a lot of blow-by. You'd think you could use... the standard oil filler neck, but it's just gonna spit the oil right back out. So in the end, we've taken this here hose, which is the perfect size for the job. And using this here canister, which we could squeeze if necessary, we'll force it in there under a bit of pressure. Yeah, this seems like the right way to go. Right, so how much oil do we already have in there? Did you check the level? So we've got about three and a half liters in there. Nice. All right, let's fire it up. Add some more and see what happens. Let's get to it. Excellent. There we are. It's not going to be all that easy to squeeze the entire canister. We should have used an old-fashioned ringer that you'd use to do laundry. I get the feeling the engine is actually sucking it in. Look at how it's crushing the bottle. Okay then, time to fit the next one. No, there doesn't seem to be any suction. Awesome, I'm loving this. How much did we pour in from this canister? Can you straighten it out, dude? Let's call it three and a half liters, give or take. Come on, babe. What's up? Go for it. All right. It's really gobbling it up. It's going in there all by itself. It's developed some kind of rattling noise. As far as abnormalities go, that's it. Where is that coming from? Oh, it spat out the dipstick. Hey, 
Now it's spilling from under the oil filler cap. Shut it off. Turn it off, man. And we're on fire. That's nice. Dude, you could have at least given me a heads up. And there you go. I guess you could say we found what we were looking for. We've poured in one full canister, another full canister, and a third canister. Then again, there's still a bit left in the third one. I'd say maybe about two liters. Each one has a five liter capacity. I really didn't like the taste of that fire extinguisher. Bless you. Our experiment continues. We've put out the engine fire, everything's good. It'll be very nice if we can get it to start. Go ahead, give it a try. Well, it is turning over. I'm actually surprised. Oh, really? Turn it off. It'll just catch fire again. What now? Where's the cap? You know it might catch fire, right? Careful not to burn your hair. Turn it off for now. Yeah, found it. Great, screw it back on. Done and done. All right, fire it up. Let's do this. It's inflating the canister. I can't even squeeze it. Shut it off. Oh, bloody hell. Did everybody get a piece? Dude, I couldn't do anything about it. As soon as we put the cap back on, it fell apart, guys. It just broke off. There was nothing I could do. Oh yeah, what a lucky day. Don't walk over the oil. Let's talk about the aftermath, fellas. As soon as we put the filler cap back on, the gases no longer had an escape path. And so they went straight back into the oil canister. The cap on the canister let go, and everybody who was too curious for their own good got punished as a result. And they'll get themselves clean. I guess you could say we treated the car as well. And now we can store it outside without it starting to rust. Yeah, it should stay in pretty good shape. All things considered, this was quite a successful experiment. Then again, we didn't break the crank in half. We didn't bend the rods or anything. Instead, our entire crew is now covered in oil. But then again, that's just how it goes sometimes when you experiment in your garage. I wouldn't recommend you guys trying this at home. That oil was actually pretty hot, though I was the only one lucky enough to feel it. Otherwise, I'd say we're looking pretty good here. The car is alive, the engine still works, which is quite nice. Basically means we can keep on experimenting. Right, you guys saw what happened. And I'm pretty sure you know the right words to describe it all. Okay, time to wrap this one up. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Did you guys find any dry cleaners nearby? We really need to wash our shit, man. Then again, at least I'm wearing my work clothes. Still has some life in it.